Hi, so now I'm going to discuss to you about the fungal diseases. So, what is fungal disease? A fungal infections are common in all kinds of poultry birds but are less prevalent as compared to bacterial viral infections. A combination of humidity, stress, and poor housing management is often the explanation of fungal infection outbreaks. An example of fungal disease is brooder pneumonia or the aspergillosis. So, Brooder pneumonia or the aspergillosis, it is a small infection of birds caused by aspergillus species and characterized by respiratory and nervous manifestation with eye involvement. Young chicks of 1 to 2 weeks of age are affected. The signs and symptoms of brooding pneumonia or the aspergillosis. For the young birds, respiratory signs, diarrhea and anorexia, eye involvement, nervous manifestations, and high mortality rate in young, 50% within 4 to 5 days. The signs and symptoms in adult birds. First is the diarrhea, anorexia, and emaciation, drop in egg production, gasping, and low mortalities. In prevention of the brooder pneumonia or the aspergillosis, first is egg sanitation, hatchery sanitation, brooder sanitation. Under the brooder sanitation is to avoid moldy feed by efficient ventilation feed store, avoid long course of antibiotic administration, daily cleaning and disinfection of feed and water utensils, and good ventilation, optimum humidity and temperature in rearing houses. Another example of fungal diseases is mycotoxicosis. A mycotoxicosis is a disease caused by a natural toxin produced by a fungus. In poultry, this usually results when toxin-producing fungi grow in grain and feed. Hundreds of mycotoxins are known and of mild to severe toxicity. Mycotoxins can have additive or synergistic interactions with other natural toxins, infectious agents, and nutritional deficiencies. The signs and symptoms of mycotoxicosis Reduce feed consumption, poor growth rate, reduce egg production, reduce feed conversion efficiency, increase susceptibility to diseases, increase mortality, poor eggshell quality, reduce fertility, leg problems, and carcass condemnation. In prevention of the mycotoxicosis is to use feed and ingredients free of mold growth and mycotoxins, apply management, practices that prevent mold growth and mycotoxin formation during feed manufacture, transport, and storage. For the treatment of mycotoxicosis, remove toxic feed and replace with unadulterated feed, treat concurrent disease to alleviate disease interaction, correct substandard management practices, and provide supportive care with vitamins, trace minerals, and increased dietary protein. Another example of fungal disease is coccidiosis. So, coccidiosis is caused by protozoa of the phylum, Apicomplexia, family Emeridae, in poultry, most species belong to the genus Emira and infect various sites in the intestine. The infectious process is rapid, it takes about 4 to 7 days, and is characterized by parasite replication in host cells with extensive damage to intestinal mucosa. Poultry coccidia are generally host specific and the different species parasitize specific parts of the intestine. The signs and symptoms of the coccidiosis. Symptoms of coccidiosis include weight loss, paleness, ruffled feathers, depression, huddling, unwillingness to eat, and watery or bloody diarrhea. All birds are at risk, but growing birds and young adults ages 3 to 5 weeks old seem most susceptible. In prevention and treatment of coccidiosis is to avoid wet litter, ensure proper management, avoid spillage of water, coccidiostats like superdot, clopidol, psychostat, or etc. should be used in broiler mushes and brooder in grower mushes. Coccidial drugs like salinomycin and maduramycin should be used in broiler mushes only. Preventive water medication with coccidiostats like amprolium, cardinal, may also be adopted. 
the coccidial studs used in feed may be rotated every 3 to 6 months to prevent the parasite developing resistance against drugs in use. So that's it for the fungal diseases. Thank you for watching.